Hi, this is Lori Azzarella with Reflexology, and I'm here to talk to you today about your liver. It's really important that you understand your liver as it is essential to the well-being of your life. It is like a factory. It has over 500 functions that it does. So you can imagine how tired it must get. Daily life kind of overloads the liver and it never really complains, but we can do a lot to help our liver and we can do a lot to avoid hurting our liver. A lot of times our liver is silent, but it shows some symptoms. For example, low energy levels. How is your vitality? Can you go all day long? Do you need a nap? Poor digestion. Are your hormones giving you an issue? What about your cholesterol levels? Skin, hair, and nail issues can be related to the liver. Varicose veins, pain between your shoulder blades or in your upper neck, gallbladder issues, even mood swings, being irritable and hangry. Um, your blood sugar levels have a lot to do with your liver. Mood swings, headaches, poor memory, thyroid issues, and your Failing eyesight has a lot to do with the blood going up into your eyes and the liver is the major detoxifier of your blood. Sleep disorders, are you having a hard time getting to sleep? Are you having a hard time staying asleep? Do you wake up between the hours of one and three? That is the liver time. So that is a major sign for you. If you're sluggish in the morning, and what about the heart? Uh, palpitations, um, or maybe your heart isn't getting as much blood as it needs because the liver is too congested. So this can look in things like maybe poor circulation in your hands and your feet, high blood pressure, easily bruised, um, excessive bleeding, things like this. And don't forget that extremely fatty liver that comes by eating too many processed foods. And we often see that as that little Oh, bulging waistline that we'd like to get rid of. And a lot of this has to do with cleansing your liver. You can get rid of that um, little muffin top. I want to share with you some ways that you can assess your liver and also help your liver through the reflex areas on your feet. Yes, this is an amazing thing that God has created for us. And on the soles of our feet, we can palpate with alternating pressure and actually help our liver to function in the perfection to which God created it to function. Now this reflex is only in the right foot. So let's take a look at this. The liver reflex is found only on the right foot. Now this is a person uh, I'm facing. You're gonna to wanna to take your right foot into your lap. And in order to find the liver reflex, first we have to find the diaphragm line which separates the ball of the foot from the soft tissue of the foot. And it basically is a color chain and you can kind of change and you can kind of see how it kind of goes up in the middle and down. That would be just like your rib cage. Now to find your waistline, because the uh, liver reflex is between the diaphragm line and the waistline, on the lateral side of the foot, you'll feel the fifth metatarsal head, which pokes out on the lateral or little toe side. So this is where you're gonna to wanna to draw a straight line coming right across the foot. Now the liver reflex is gonna be in between your diaphragm line and the waistline. So this is actually, if I was an artist, this could be your liver right here, okay? So that would be the liver only on the right foot. So now we, that we know, we're going to now assess the liver reflex. And you're gonna be taking your thumbs and pressing into the tissue. This would be your on and this is your off. So we're pressing on and off. Now it's really nice to be able to do this with two hands. So you're pressing on and as that one lifts off, you press next to it, on and off. And we're going to be walking from the big toe or medial side of the foot all the way over to the lateral side or little toe side of the foot, pressing on and off. Now what you're feeling for here, once you get to the lateral side, drop down a little bit and just walk the area once because as we assess, we're feeling for a little like sand or crunchies you might feel in there or owies, some tenderness. And this is going to help us define if the reflex is tender. 
Make sure your pressure is deep enough and you're going on, off, on, off. Now pay attention to where the tenderness is. Could be on the right lobe of the liver or the left lobe, or maybe it's where in the bottom of the liver here where things settle because of gravity. And we're gonna make note of what is any tender spots in this reflex area. Once we have assessed the river of liver reflex, and if there's any tender areas, what I like to do is, if there's a tender spot in one spot, I will just anoint the whole area of the liver because why not? So once we apply the essential oil of your choice onto that, and again, we have classes that will help you determine that, and then we're going to press in and work again. And as we do this, we're sending the, um, nutritional and the healing and the energetic value of this essential oil. We're resonating it into the liver itself, creating an oxygenated flow, impulse flow of energy into the liver reflex. And notice when you apply the essential oil, how it changes the reflex area. Wow, I feel energized. My feet feel great. And I'll tell you, it really, whew. and another tip is always smell that oil that you put on the, on your feet. Take a moment to breathe that in right to the brain. So we're connecting top to bottom. It's wonderful. Now be careful of the essential oils that you choose to put on your feet. There's many, many different oils out there for different reasons, and we can get into that a little bit later. But the very most important thing is to choose an essential oil that has a life force, that has a frequency, that has a vibration into it. Um, most oils, 98% of them are perfume grade, so be very, very, very careful. And I'd be happy to help you with that in finding the right oil essential oils for your use for you your family and your clientele i really hope you appreciate this really short introduction to a little bit of reflexology i invite you to step into nature's living energy and really work on the foundation of your wellness through reflexology <laughs>